Normally I would uh, start the episode off by saying good morning, but uh, as you can see, it's still the beginning of June, and uh, it's definitely not 6 or 7 o'clock. In fact, it's still the same day as our last episode. But I do have a really important reason for why I am now starting the episode, a new episode on the same day, and uh, yeah, it's namely this. It would seem that field four is ready to be harvested and we were able to score us that contract as you can see right over here and uh, Adrian here was actually nice enough to lend us her combine she even brought it right up next to the field so I'm not gonna waste any more time I say we fire up our combine put it to the field we'll use hers as well and yeah, let's uh, let's start the harvest here. I'm just taking a look here, and uh, the 720 looks to have a hopper capacity of 10,500, all the way up to 12,000. Now, that is a very important uh, detail because that tells me something. What it's telling me is that my little auger wagon is going to be not even close to big enough mine's only good for 8500 liters and we need to have an auger wagon that we can really move grain with so I think we're gonna have to go shopping for a new cart I do think so I think this one probably won't be the right size for us anymore and you know we do need a bigger cart in the end anyway so now's as good a time as any to start shopping Obviously, we're not going for something with 300 horsepower requirements because that would be kind of ridiculous. But we do have some smaller ones here. They're kind of at the end. So we got the 60 right here that I've been using till now. And then we have this lizard, uh, good for 17. And uh, we got the, uh, the Parker, good for 22. And that's pretty well lit. So just looking off of horsepower requirements I think this red one here is probably going to be the star of the show and there's only two different tire options here you can get inverted tracks or straight tracks I don't really care one way or the other I like the old decals cover is good main color it is good but uh, I kinda like that old school dusty red a little better um, as far as design color I'm guessing that's probably my tarp uh, let's go with kind of a matte black there you go nothing too fancy rims are all fine I don't think it has a plate on it at all so I'm thinking that is what we're gonna go with that's a mighty fine cart and uh, if this thing does what I expect it to do, then I think we should have no problem with this. We will go ahead and purchase. Before I could even get my purchase back, it seemed that the combine was full already. So this field has got some high yields. I have a feeling we're going to be doing a lot of hauling off of here. I may have to rent a semi. Just maybe. We'll play it by ear, but uh, I got a sneaking suspicion about that one. Or uh, maybe one of these wagons that, you know, one of those that have the uh, unrealistic capacity. But no, about 10,700 liters is what this one is good for. So I will say for now that's fine, but yeah, we're going to be doing a lot of hauling with this truck. It's definitely going to earn its keep. And now for comparison, so I'm hooked up to the new gravity wagon. I got it parked up next to the old one and you can see that the capacity is much, much greater than the old one here. And uh, yeah, even the spout being a fair bit taller, I think that'll help for dumping into taller trucks and that. I think overall it's a pretty good trade. And yes, it did cost me a fair bit of money, but that's okay. I'm going to sell this one and uh, we're going to go ahead and take this one down to the field and see what we can do with it. 
Hopefully uh, this uh, wagon is up to all the hype. We've got this field underway now. I've got the uh, little combine doing perimeter cuts around the outside there. So yeah, he's keeping busy with that. And then this combine over here is pretty well every pass is a full hopper. It's kind of impressive, honestly. But you know what? We'll take it for what it's worth. It's, it's going to be a good harvest. Plenty to do here today, and I won't have to show you guys all of the harvest, but there will definitely be lots to harvest here. I foresee many, many trips to the elevator, and you know, I didn't even check to see where this is even going. So once the game saves here, I can probably show you guys that. I'm just uh, waiting here till this thing is done, and it looks like BF grain number two. All right. Good to know. I'm sure we can make that work. It's not too hard to get to. First truckload is full. Uh, the farmer said that uh, she was willing to put her tractor to work too. That has a rather big wagon on it. So fingers crossed that we can actually use that as well. That'd be really good. Because right now, yeah, you can see that. Things are quite hectic here, shall we say. I did not expect this field to do so well, but it's good. You know, uh, I like a good bumper crop. What does it look like? Oh yeah, yield bonus at 98%, fertilize at 100. Why does that not surprise me suddenly? Anyway, we get to put this uh, new auger wagon to the test see how that one's going to operate and how it's going to function seems to be pretty light and nimble just when it's empty that's good and hopefully it can take at least one combine load worth I do believe that is the case because the combine does about 10,700 I believe if I am not mistaken I know our other combine is just about full too so <laughs> I can't really hesitate too long. So while the combine dumps in there, I'm jumping back in the truck. I'm going over to BF Grains, gate number two. I got to get rolling here. It's going to be hectic, and I really love that. It's always awesome when it's a little bit hectic, isn't it? It's just wonderful. We get a chance to try this cart underneath our combine now, and that is a really good height not too terribly low and also not that tall that it's gonna clip and hit the auger that's that's just beautiful I have no complaints on my end here Wow that actually works really really well and I have to imagine that that combine is going to all but fill this little cart but that's okay we uh, sent the truck on its way it's going over to BF grains number two uh, the farmer has sent us her tractor and we'll be loading into that in the meantime should be a good time all around you can tell this farmer has got a lot nicer and newer equipment than what we do just based off the fact of her combine and her tractor and that but you know what that's okay we're doing this the old school way with old-fashioned equipment and if our neighbors have new equipment, well, that's on them. That's not on us. We're doing our part here. And yeah, this uh, wagon is not all that big, I have to say. Because it seems like my grain cart's over halfway filled it. It's kind of fascinating. Anyway, I believe that combine was full again. So I got to go and service that one real quick. Well, that second load is all full. <laughs> uh, dear, it's kind of funny. We are barely cracking into this, and uh, it is so, f so much grain. Oh well, you know what? That's what we love. So we absolutely love about this. So I'll let that guy get to business. My truck is in the way. I may as well jump off the combine here. 
I've now divided the field into two and I'll start doing the front half first just to make things a wee bit easier to deal with because I find that uh, it's too far to drive and it's too much up and down like it you know the the logistics of it just aren't great let's just put it that way so I'll park the truck there um, you can see my little combine is making cuts just to ensure that there's a border there and that way that green combine doesn't need to go quite as far so that's the plan right now we'll try to cut the field in half make it just a wee bit easier to work with and I guess now I gotta try my uh, auger wagon on the dump truck see if it'll actually dump in here or not because as of right now it's not it's rather peculiar if we're being honest oh there we are looks like it just has a bit of a finicky hitbox on on that box itself but that's working out alright now perfect just what we wanted to see yeah I have a feeling we're gonna fill that grain box right up aren't we it would appear so there we are and now if my gut is right then I believe there's two combines that are fully loaded that I'm gonna have to empty out I've gotta say that uh, new header that we leased it's working really well for that combine it actually fills up quite quick now and it's keeping pace with the green combine both doing that 10 kilometer an hour so it's quite impressive I I think the little boost in horsepower and the bigger header really did it good and uh, I'm sure once we get the next generation of combine it's gonna be even better but I was just very pleased with this little red combine overall I think it was a very worthy investment and this cart has also done really good so far other than we've had a little bit of hitbox issues but uh, that could just be me just the way I'm looking at things I won't even rule that out but uh, yeah no things are progressing great here no complaints on my end we had the tractor deliver one load and so this is load number three coming off that field uh, it's it's coming along we're not quite halfway done but yeah we're getting there so we we'll dump this and I think if I park it just right I should be able to do there you go now we can dump both at the same time see that's how you, you make up for lost time right there love it when you got a big grate and you're able to do that it's just perfect and soon we should see how far along we are with the delivery 26 percent <laughs> delivered oh my so a quarter of it's delivered right now and that's load three so if that's the case that means there'll be 12 loads that'll go back here that is incredible and not a minute too soon the truck just pulled in because I believe that uh, tractor wagon there is 100 percent full I will check just in case but I'm pretty sure this wagon here is 100 percent full here let's just put the spout over it yeah no we're not loading anything into there unfortunately So off we go to the wagon and the truck. We'll go and dump some in there. You can see the combines are doing really well now that we've kind of chopped it up a little bit. Made it a lot more manageable. They don't have to stop quite as often. They're doing more turning than stopping now. So it, it keeps my time management a little easier to deal with that is for sure but uh, I gotta go send that uh, fast track tractor off to uh, 
deliver load 4 and then I'll go and unload this combine right after that. I'm just checking on the progress right now. 39% um, combine which makes sense we're not even done half the field yet but uh, my goodness this is taking a sweet time and uh, I'm enjoying myself I don't know about you guys but I certainly am I am having a good time here doing all this combining and I have a feeling I'm going to be able to uh, really load up on my uh, silo I have a bin there that we put our barley in from last time yeah, and I got this sneaking suspicion that I'll be adding a lot more barley just a sneak suspicion I get but yeah we'll play that one by ear for sure load number five coming in that's kind of awesome and we're doing the same thing doing both tippers Although for some reason this one here does not seem to want to participate very well on the truck. Not sure what the reasoning is, but hey, as long as it works in the end, that's all we really care about. Yeah, load number five. There's just got to be something so satisfying about watching your equipment work. You know, you got your old case combine and the old GMC top kick and you know everything is just kind of stuck in the 80s and uh, you feel the, the crunch of the straw stubble beneath your feet it's just yeah it's such an awesome feeling I don't even know if I can realistically describe it to you guys it's just cool and I really do like it it is probably why I get such a kick out of doing farm simulator videos is because of the realism and, and the general enjoyment I get out of using the equipment that I select for us because after all this is kind of our farm together isn't it and uh, although I do make most of the choices I don't really leave too much up to the viewers to decide but in the end I think we all you know we get a fair shake at it and we we all get to enjoy it for what it is it's it's a lot of farming from the 80s some of it's older like obviously we have those those old farm walls that are much older but in general it's kind of all 80s here and yeah it's terribly fun I uh, I don't know how to better describe it other than it's just fun I just find myself enjoying this game more and more all the time it would appear as though the uh, little combine's got one more pass to go. That should bring him right back around to the far end here, which is perfect. So then we can get started on the uh, back half here. It does say that the field is over 50% done. So I am hopeful that we'll be able to bring some of this grain away for ourselves seeing as it makes for some excellent chicken feed come to find out so not a problem at all well I'm looking forward to putting some away in our our chicken feed bin I have long since forgotten which load this is it feels like we just keep dumping more and more and more but there you go there's one more load what does it say? 67% delivered. I'll take it. That's, you know, makes sense for uh, the amount of field we've combined. But, yeah, it's it's going. It's going, guys. It's a big old field. You know how you know that you've hauled a lot of grain in one day? When you look at your fuel and the light's flashing. It I did not see that till now, but yeah, apparently I have hauled a fair bit of grain today because my fuel light is on, so I'm going to go fuel up before I head out with this. I have a feeling that will be advantageous to me. Alright, we just get fueled up real quick and then we can head on out of here. I have to say one of the nice things about this auger wagon here 
when you fold up the uh, spout it just folds right back it doesn't swing around like our old one did so it helps from kicking up against a combine or against a trailer what have you makes things a little easier to get in position and to leave as well it appears as though we only have one more pass left I think that's a good time for me to unload this combine I think the little red combine's got it I'll uh, dump this into the, the wagon and uh, whatever does fit in there I'll put it into the auger wagon and then we await our truck and that should pretty well wrap up the fuel here but my goodness it's uh it's been a bit of a chore hasn't it it's just after 10 in game time i know uh, i put the time a little slower it's so it can save a bit of money on wages a guy has to do what he can do in order to save a little money around here Here's to one last hurrah. Let's hope this is going to do it. Oh, there it is. Contract is finished. And look how much grain we still have. That is unreal. And there's still some on the field in the grain cart. There's still some in the dump truck. There's still some in the combine. Oh my. You know what? I thought this was going to do good. But uh, this has surpassed my expectations. That's for sure. Alright, well... I guess that can only mean one thing. We're bringing the rest of this back home and uh, we'll see how much of this we can put in our chicken feeder. I know that uh, we were quite low on chicken feed honestly. So why not bring it back home over here. We will set the destination right there with that general direction. And let's see what we got. Right now, if we look at our chicken uh, production info sheet here, it looks like they have about 6,700 liters worth of grain and chickens like wheat, barley, and sorghum. So my plan is to uh, put that all in the bin over there, even though it looks like it should never fit. But we're going to try. We're definitely going to try. And here we go, just dropping off the last of that barley, and we get to do a tally, see how much chicken feed we actually finally got ourselves together. I have a funny feeling it's going to be uh, stocked up quite well. Why don't we take a look and see where we're at? Yeah, about 48,000. And what were we at before? Six, seven thousand, so... Yeah, we've definitely topped up. Those chickens are going to be feasting tonight, that's for sure. But, you know, speaking of feasting, it is just about supper time for me here in real life. And so I would say that's probably a good time for me to end the episode. So, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. And uh, we will catch you on the next episode as soon as I can make that. But till then, take care of yourselves. And we'll see you soon.